Hello guys, welcome to another video in this series of tutorial on React. In this video, we will learn to add a date picker just like this, which we have added in our application. It is another very useful or commonly used feature or functionality in any application or websites. To use a date picker in React.js, you can either create your own custom date picker component or you can use existing third-party library and make use of that one in your React application. In this video, we will use one of the third-party date picker library and add that date picker in our application. To add date picker, let's open code editor first. Here I have created a separate component by name reactdatepicker.js and I have exported this one here and added in this main JavaScript file that is app.js file. And in our React Date Picker JavaScript file, I have added only one content that is hello date picker. If you browse this React application in a browser, you can observe only that text is appearing here. So let's go back to code editor. First step to add date picker in React application is we need to install the library. To add a library, you need to run npm code. For that one, let me first stop this React application. Then here write the command npm install then react date picker. Then press enter. It will take us some time to install this library. Now you can see this date picker library has been installed or added into our project successfully. So once this library is installed, the next step is we need to import this date pickers component in the JavaScript file where we want to add date picker. So for that one, at the top, you need to import the date picker library for that one add code, import date picker from in the double quotation add react hyphen date picker and along with this date picker library we need to import the css file as well for that one write the code import and within double quotation you need to mention the path of the css file for that one add react hyphen date picker slash dist slash react hyphen date picker dot css once it is done, next step is within this functional component react date picker which we have created, we need to create a state variable which can be used later point of time. For that one, so let me create one variable by name selected date. For that one, let me add const within bracket, I will add selected date. And to create a state here, as we are using functional component, we can make use of use state hook here. This use state hook will help us to create states in functional component. So let me add this one and initialize this one to null. Then we need to add one more state which we will use to store the selected date by the user. So initialize another variable by name set selected date. As here we are using use state hook, we need to import this hook before using it. So for that one, let me import this use state hook from the React. For that one, let me add import use state from React. Next step is we need to write a function which will handle whenever there is a change in the date picker and which will assign that value to our variable which we have created just now that is set selected date for that one let me create one function by name handle date change and it will accept the parameter date whichever is chosen by the date picker from user and within this function we are going to set the state of this set selected date to whatever the date chosen by the user for that one I'll mention as set selected date and within bracket you can mention date and for this function at the starting mention as const and close this one with semicolon and the final step which we need to do is we need to build the HTML code which will create us a UI for user as currently we have only one statement we have added header tags 
as we know if we have multiple tags which uh, we need to show in the UI at that time we need to use a division and within that division we need to enclose all the HTML tag so for that reason let me create one division here and within that one I will add this header so and now we need to add a date picker tag for that one we have a tag by name date picker which is a self enclosing tag so now we have added that one and within this one we need to add some of the properties or props for this one the first props which I want to add is selected so this prop sets the currently selected date from this date picker so I want to set this one to the state which we have created that is selected date so let me copy that one and paste it here and the second prop which we need to define here is on change this is nothing but a event handler so whenever there is a change in the date picker chosen by the user at that time we need to call a function which we have created here that is nothing but handle date change which will receive the date whichever is selected by the date picker and it will set to this state so let me copy this function name and put it here and the final prop which I want to define here is date format this will define the format which you want to show in the input box for this instance I will add mmdd slash yy so now whenever there is a date picker first month will be displayed then date and finally year so based on your requirement you can change this one you can put date at the starting and month as a second parameter and year as a third parameter so once you are done with this final step save the file and run this react application for that one we'll use npm start react application ran successfully and it is open now in browser now you can observe we got one input box which is blank initially as we have initialized null for the selected date variable in our coding as soon we click on the input box a date picker will be shown at the bottom from this date picker you can choose any dates here if you want to choose dates which are from next month or previous month you can use this navigation button and you can navigate to that particular month and once you choose the date from the date picker here you can observe that date whichever we have selected that is being displayed in our input box in the format which we have given or defined in our code in this example I have selected 30th March 2023 so the month is displayed at the starting and then the date which I have selected and the year is shown at the end this is how date picker works in react application so these are the simple steps which we need to follow to add a date picker in our react application that's it guys for this video thanks for watching this if you like this video please click on like button share it with others and subscribe to my channel